Hey, what up good people? I am Miss Ebony V. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on these DIY boho goddess braids using deep wave human hair. So let's go ahead and get into it. Hey y'all. All right, so before we get into the actual braiding tutorial, I just kind of want to show you how I have my hair kind of pre-separated, especially in the front. I just have this all in one ponytail in the back right now. I'm gonna do the back off camera because it's just easier for me instead of trying to show you what I'm doing in the back. Let me just get this back out of the way and then I'll come back to you <laughs> with the front. That's how we're gonna do this. So the hair I'm gonna be using is this hair I used in my last braiding video, uh, which is this Model Model Everclear pre-stretched braid. It's um, pre-rinsed and cleansed in vinegar wash, which I absolutely love. And you know what, when I wore it the last time, I didn't have a whole lot of itching, so that really helped. And if it doesn't come that way, I mean, you do have the free will to dip your own, some other uh, synthetic hair into some um, vinegar water as well. And it does help with keeping the itching down, no lie. But this is pre-stretched and the ending inches will be in 20 inches. So I have two packs of this that I'm gonna start um, braiding in the back of my head. I actually took one of the braids of one of these bundles from my last braiding video, but it's still pretty much two packs. So we're gonna see if I use all of this. And if I get through with all of that, I'm gonna jump to this yeah, I'm mixing hair because I like to use what I got, so I don't have to buy no more. And this is hair I had on hand. <laughs> so this is Shake and Go Q pre-stretch braid. Um, very similar. It's just not the pre-cleaned like the other one. And this one is actually in 18 inches. They're both in the color 1B though. So I have actually one bundle is missing out of this bag so this is probably the one i will finish first but the other two have the two bundles so again i have three packs or two and a half packs of this shake and go one but i'm going to start with the um model model pair first and see how much we can get with that and it's probably going to be a lot because i was pretty surprised i only used one of these packs for my last braiding tutorial so we'll see how lucky I get. <laughs> so that's for the synthetic hair. So for the human hair, the hair that's gonna be coming out of the braids, um, I'm gonna be using this Free Tress Bulk 100% Human Hair in Deep Bulk. Um, and I have this in 18 inches as well. So that's what that looks like. And I got all of this from my local beauty supply. Um, I'll try to find the online versions of these and, you know, link them down below if I'm able to. Um, so, you know, in case you just want to have easy access to it. Now, I'm a little concerned that this only has two bundles. I'm going to hope and pray that it's going to be enough. Otherwise, I'll be making a run back to the beauty supply store to get another one. So, we'll see. So, I just wanted to show you all of that at first. Um, I'm going to go ahead and work on the back section of my head off camera. And I'll be back when it's time to get to the front. All right, y'all. So, it is now the next day. Whoo, child. My gosh. <laughs> Now, every time I do some kind of braiding style like this, you know, it always takes a little second to get in the groove, like in a real good groove where I'm flowing smooth sailing and no hiccups and nothing like that. But honey, let me tell you, this first back row woo, took me all of 30 minutes. I hadn't found my groove yet. Like it was like me trying to figure out my groove. And so this whole back section took me all of four to four and a half hours like my goodness <laughs> I was not anticipating taking that long on the back but that's what I did and hopefully this front is going to move a whole lot smoother and faster that's usually how it goes even though it's the next day you know it may take another second to find my groove again <laughs> I don't know Hopefully not, and I can get through this front section much faster than I got through the top. I got everything set up in here now. Before I was in my room, because I just, you know, I like to be comfortable. I need to sit and watch movies to, like, not think about the time. 
So you won't see the entire front being done in this video right now, but you'll, you know, see me coming in and out different sections of the front portion. Let me at least show you the back. Um, so this is what the back looks like. And I got about four rows going, I think. Yeah, so they came, they're coming out pretty nicely. Um, I'm quite satisfied with them. Loving the human hair. Um, that's like a little real, uh, trend going on right now everybody's using human hair so i was like i did synthetic hair the last time and boy it can get a tangled mess but this human hair it like separates real easy like i haven't been having any issues with this human hair or the curly human hair the braids are still synthetic but the curly hair hanging out that is human hair and yeah that makes a big difference so yeah if i ever do this again I will be using human hair again. So if you saw any like white residue in the back of my head, it's because I've already treated my scalp with this Canvi Scalp Bliss Itch Calming Organic Based Serum. This stuff right here is the truth, honey. Like it has my scalp feeling so pepperminty and soothing. Like I have really dry, itchy scalp. Like anything makes my scalp itch. And I feel like this holds the itch off much longer <laughs> than me just using like oil or something so i love this stuff i'm almost out it's time for me to get a new bottle yeah i'm on the tail end of that so this is long lasting scalp soothing sensation local beauty supply store but if i find it if i find a link for it i'll link it down below as well but all right now let's go ahead and get into <laughs> the rest of this front section y'all all right, so I already have the hair separated, as you see here, into very small pieces. I love this rack. This rack saves my life. I do have two of them. And the other one, I have the human hair, the curly human hair on. So now let's get into the braiding. My apologies that I like basically had this right side completed and some of this left side. I just forgot to hit record, y'all. My bad. But we're going to keep it going. And I'm going to go ahead and continue braiding this front section. So I'm wearing this little blue wristband to, you know, hold my um, braiding gel or edge control, whatever you want to call it. I don't remember the name of the one I'm using, but of course I will link everything down in the description box below. So of course, feel free to check it out if you're interested. Now I'm taking very small pieces of the braiding hair, as you see here, and I use my hair as like the third leg when I'm braiding. I typically braid down like one or two times and then I'll add another small piece. Um, and then I'll braid it down another one or two times before adding that last third piece of hair. Once I get that third piece added, I'll just braid down until I get my natural hair on the back side and the other two legs of the braid without my natural hair, like on my right side, so that I can easily just add the hair. And as you, you can see, I just braid it down a few more times before I um, took the curly hair and put it to the side or put it up. I'll repeat this step a couple more times with the curly hair. I just braid down a little further again until I get my natural hair on the back side. And then I'll go ahead and add that um, the straight piece of that curly hair um, in between the two accessible legs. I hope I'm making sense. Probably not, but <laughs> it sounds like I'm making sense to me and no one else. So my apologies for that. I'm not really good at explaining this. Once I add that last curly piece closer to the end of the braid, I'll just continue braiding all the way down and then um, just tie a little small knot at the bottom. I wanted to quickly show you how I prep and separate the human hair. As you see, it does have the straight ends um, from it being bulk hair and I just add some of the braiding gel or edge control, whatever you want to call it, to that ends of the hair, to the straight pieces and just kind of pull out some pieces that way and put it back on my rack. So this is kind of how I, I prep um, once I run out of hair and just kind of separate the human hair and put it on the rack. So that it's easy, you know, to just grab the little straight piece and add it to the braid. I ended up getting the human hair in a number two while the braiding hair is in a 1B, but it still worked out fine. I like the kind of contrast of the two different colors, even though it's not that big of a difference. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue braiding this middle section. I've already split it in half, and now I'm splitting the half in half um, so that I can get myself a nice, 
even part make sure both of those sections are even which it wasn't so i'm going back in and then i'm gonna go ahead and put that to the side and add some some more edge control or braiding gel i don't know which way to call it that's why i keep calling it both um and then you know repart to make sure it's nice and straight and clean So now I'm just going to part the row in half so that I have even sized braids and then of course put that aside or put that piece aside and cut that half in half again to have even sized braids. Then I'm just going to add some of this braid and gel around the root of the braid. Now you may notice I don't always braid the exact same way. So this way is pretty much like the last time. Um, where you know I'm just kind of I make that my hair the third leg and I'm braiding on top of it kind of underneath already um, I just change up based on the way my hands are feeling and my mood at the time <laughs> it's just it's I don't have a consistent braid like my hands may be tired of braiding one way so I gotta change it up so you'll notice me change it up you know in the next segment of braiding but this part is pretty much the same um, I didn't change anything. I'm just going to continue adding the curly hair, the human hair to the braid um, down all the way to the shaft of the braid. So remember I told you it took me about four to four and a half hours to braid the back half of my head? Child, it took me about the same time to braid the front. It was about another four I would say not four and a half, I would say about four hours to braid the front. Um, yeah, so that's a total of about nine and a half hours, y'all. That's a lengthy amount of time when you have to braid your own hair. So be mindful of that, sis. It is not gonna be a quick wham bam. Thank you, ma'am, honey. On the positive side, though, I was able to, you know, get other stuff done, take breaks. And I saved myself about, I don't know, I think these braids are running like 300, 500. Like I've seen some numbers. So it saved my pockets as well. And, you know, I'm all about that. I am frugal as a mug and I want to save my coins, honey. So for this next braid, you may notice my hands are positioned a little differently. Like when I tell y'all this was such a test for my hands, my hands were on fire, honey. Braiding is not for me. <laughs> Braiding a whole head, who is not for my hands? My hands are not happy. So I just was continually changing my hands and the way that I was braiding so that I can find some comfort and relief. But I must say, out of all of the different ways and methods I was braiding my hair, this was probably the most comfortable, easiest, and fastest. So, you know, if I ever try this again, which I doubt, um, I would probably do them all this way.
look here i was so relieved once i got all of the braids done honey like i just couldn't believe it oh so i'm going back in with this candy scalp bliss again in the front portion of my head because i've already done the back again i absolutely love this stuff i mean my hair or my scalp feels so minty and with no itch like oh my goodness i can be itch free for days when i use this So of course I finished the rest of the rows and honey, we are so done. I am beyond thrilled to be done. So now I'm just separating the hair in half and I'm gonna separate the halves in halves um, just to get the hair moisturized and hydrated. Um, and then we are ready to go, honey. So I'm just gonna spray it down with some water. Because I have this human hair, you know, most people use foam, foaming mousse. I didn't wanna use foam. It only takes a little water and leave-in conditioner. Um, and that's really all you need. I mean, and you don't even have to use a leave-in conditioner every day, but every day I do um, tend to spray it with a little water just to hydrate the human hair a little bit. Um, and that's basically it. That's like the maintenance of this hair that you can do every single day. And I'm cutting off the little straggly ends um, just to make sure I got some nice, healthy, curly ends. Of course I did the exact same thing to the other side and honey we are done and done oh my goodness I'm just ready to go on vacation at this point <laughs> like this was such a workout but I am so glad I made it through y'all like this is only my second time braiding my entire head by myself and it is a lot of work again it is not for the week y'all right, so yes we're in a different place i'm in a hotel room <laughs> but i've realized i forgot to do like an outro video of like the final look the braids and all that and now since it's been a week i feel like i can, I can give you some additional insight um you know for these diy braids so yeah like i mentioned i'm in florida on a little girls getaway trip I did a lot of recording, so I'm going to try to do a vlog of this trip as well, even though I feel like I suck at vlogs. But, you know, the more you do it, the better you get, I guess. That's the goal. That's the plan. Honey, y'all should see how I got this camera set up right now. <laughs> I'm sitting here looking at it. It's trail. It's crazy. And it's like on a slant, so don't mind it. Whatever. It is what it is. I just want to at least let you see this final look. Um, I feel like they came out fairly well they're not perfection because i'm not a perfecting braider and it is me braiding my own hair of course i can do much better on somebody else's because i can see what i'm doing on somebody else's hair Other anyway <laughs> um this is the final look uh they came out pretty decent um this is the back nice flowy braids am i up enough can you see it all I have been loving them on this trip. This is what I did them for, was for this trip. Um, so, you know, I'm loving them. Let me know what you guys are thinking about the braids. How do you think they came out? Um, I think they came out pretty nice, so I'm happy with the outcome. Um, but let me know what you guys think. And is this something you would do yourself? I would really love to know that. Or who has done this themselves? Because this is not for the week, honey. Ooh, it was not for the week, but I'm glad I was so glad I was finished when I was finished So that's pretty much all I have for you wonderful people today. I thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this video I appreciate it as always and since I'm just having a beautiful view of the beach right now If you have made it this far in the video go ahead and leave me this little beach emoji right here down in the comments so that I know you made it to the end Shook Muffin and you know I love and appreciate you for that. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you have not and I will be sure to catch you all in the next one. Bye y'all.